Hello everyone, welcome to Engineering Explain channel. In this session, I am going to discuss about the capillarity and also I am going to derive the expression for capillary rise or capillary fall. To take the first definition, capillarity is defined as the phenomenon of the rise or fall of the liquid surface in a small tube with respect to the adjacent general level of liquid when the tube is held vertically in the liquid. When the small tube is held vertically in the liquid, the liquid may rise or it may fall. And if the liquid is rise, that we are going to take as a capillary rise. And if the liquid surfaces fall below the adjacent general level of the liquid, we are going to take it as a capillary fall. Here the surface is having the some curved contact and that contact angle we are going to take as a theta and that is due to the surface tension acting at the surface. And here the rise of the liquid surface is known as capillary rise and fall of the liquid surface is known as capillary fall. It is expressed in centimeter or millimeter of liquid because it is a distance. Its value depend upon the specific weight or a weight density of the liquid, the diameter of the tube and the surface tension of the liquid. And next, I will take the derivation for the capillary rise first and later I am going to take the derivation for the capillary fall also. Consider a glass tube of a small diameter D opened at both ends and is inserted in a liquid say water. Consider a glass tube whose diameter is D opened at both end is inserted in a liquid say water. The liquid will rise in the tube above the level of the liquid. The liquid is rise above the outside level of the liquid. Let H equal to height of the liquid in the tube. This H equal to height of the liquid in the you under a state of equilibrium under a state of equilibrium if this condition is at equilibrium the weight of the liquid of height h is balanced by the force at the surface of the liquid in the tube okay here this whatever for the height h whatever the liquid is raised in the glass tube it is having the certain weight and this weight of the liquid for the height h is balanced by the force at the surface of the liquid but here the force at the surface of the liquid is the surface tension that is the sigma that is it but the force at the surface of the liquid in the tube is due to surface tension therefore let sigma equal to surface tension of the liquid theta is equal to angle of contact between liquid and glass tube this theta is the angle of contact between the liquid and glass tube. Then the weight of liquid of height h in the tube, the weight of this liquid of height h in the tube will be the area of the tube multiplied with the height that will give the volume of this liquid multiplied with a specific weight or a weight density that is rho into g. Rho is the density. If the density is multiplied with the acceleration due to gravity, g, it will become a specific weight or a weight density. Then further, if you write substituting the area, the area of the tube is pi by 4 d square multiplied with the height h multiplied with this density and acceleration due to gravity, where rho is density of the liquid. Vertical component of the surface tens tension tensile force here as the surface tension is acting at particular angle that is the theta then it has a two components the two components one component is along the vertical direction one component along the horizontal direction one component in the horizontal direction one component in the vertical direction as it is acting at an angle okay then that vertical component of that tensile force if you take that is given as surface tension this sigma multiplied with a circumference 
of the tube multiplied with the cos of angle theta. Then sigma, the circumference is equal to pi d and angle cos theta. Then now the one force is due to its weight which is acting in downward direction and another force due to surface tension which is acting in the upward direction. And these two are balanced. Therefore, we have to equate these two equations that is 1.17 and 1.18. Then we will get that is pi by 4 d square into h multiplied with the rho into g that is equal to sigma into pi d into cos theta. H we need to find out that is a capillary rise. By keeping this H, we will take all the term, term, terms to this side that is right hand side that is a sigma into pi d into cos theta by 4 by pi, pi by 4 d square multiplied with a rho into g. And here this pi pi get cancelled so 1 d, 1 d get cancelled and 4 we can take in the numerator then we can write this equal to 4 sigma cos theta by rho g into d. Then the value of theta between the water and clean glass tube is approximately equal to 0 and hence cos theta is equal to unity. Then rise of water is given by h equal to 4 sigma by rho g d. This is the expression for the capillary rise which is in terms of the centimeter or millimeter. Okay. Next, we will take that is the expression for capillary form. If the glass tube is dipped in mercury, particularly here we are going to use the liquid mercury. In that only the, the fall of the liquid in the tube will be taking place. That is why that is the reason of using the mercury. The level of mercury in the tube will be lower than the general level of the outside liquid as shown in figure 1.14. Here we can see this is the same tube what we have considered which is opened at both ends and having the diameter D which is inserted in a mercury so that the inside the tube the surface will be lower than the outside general level of the liquid. Then here the H we are going to take as the capillary depression or a capillary fall and here that is again the surface tension is acting at that inside surface and the angle of contact between the this glass tube and the its surface we are going to take as a theta and by taking this one okay let h equal to height of depression in tube then in equilibrium two forces are acting on the mercury inside the tube there are two forces are acting on the mercury inside the tube the first one is due to the surface tension acting in the downward direction. In the downward direction, the surface tension force is acting and is equal to sigma into pi d into cos theta. That is a sigma multiplied with circumference multiplied with the angle of contact, cos of angle of contact which is a downward that is a component, vertical component of the this surface tension. The second force is due to hydrostatic force. The hydrostatic force which is acting upward direction and is equal to intensity of pressure at the depth h into area. Okay, here the second force is the hydrostatic force and that is given by the intensity of pressure which is acting at depth h multiplied with the area. And the pressure intensity if you take as a P then the area is of the tube is pi by 4 d square. Then pressure can be given as the rho g into h. The p is because p is equal to rho g h. Here we can take that is a pressure can be given as that is a density of the liquid, acceleration due to gravity, height of the liquid. By that we can find the pressure at any point in the liquid which is by the Pascal's law. And later we are going to take in the uh, in the pressure and its measurement chapter and multiplied with its area that is a pi by 4 d square. Then this is the second force which is acting and equating these two. Okay, this is the first force and this is the second force equating these two. That is a sigma into pi d into cos theta and equal to rho g h multiplied with the pi by 4 d square. The h we require 
Okay, the eighth by taking this one, all other terms if you send that side, h equal to that is here the pi pi get cancels, 1d, 1d get cancels. Okay, there then we can take this all other terms that the 4 goes in the numerator, the 4 sigma cos theta will be remains in the numerator, and rho g and this 1d will be in the denominator rho g. The expression is same as that of the capillary rise also, but the angle of contact is different for this capillary fall. Value of theta for the mercury and glass tube is 128 degree here. Okay, that only the difference and remaining the expression will be remain same for the capillary rise and the capillary fall. The further other properties of the fluid I am going to take in the, in the sessions. Thanks for watching Engineering Explain channel. If you like, share, subscribe and comment.